Hello, in this video I basically want to recommend a few other interesting videos but connected to alchemy and especially the 12 keys of Basil Valentine, Prima Clavisa, that's the, the first key. And these are classical imagery connected to alchemy or Basil, Basil Valentine. So he wrote an earlier book about a century later, they did these woodcut carvings and were connected to them. But uh, So that's the third key in Dragon's Blood. Um, fourth, fifth key, sixth, seventh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and the twelfth key. So those are the twelve keys of Basil Valentine. Who is Basil Valentine? Uh, well, as often, Rebus is probably the terms most connected to him. You see these illustrations. Uh, um, now, there are various ideas of who he actually actually is. Now, um, some say he was 15th century German monk who was working in the salt industry. Uh, others say he's a, c a collection of many individuals working under a pen name, but uh, famed alchemist, and he's, even in normal circles, he's given credit for inventing ammonia, sulfuric acid, and hydrochloric acid, uh, which are developed from especially uh, so, so uh, sol omaniac, oman, omaniac, sorry, I always get that uh, tongue twister for me, sulfuric acid, oil of vitriol as well, um, ammonia. Now, from the salt industry, for instance, if you pour sulfuric acid onto salt, you purify it. Oh, uh, salt was a huge, huge, very, very important industry. But if you pour sulfuric acid onto salt, you get hydrochloric acid. Now, sulfuric and hydrochloric acid, uh, you know, just a... Uh, it's like uh, sugar and flour in the kitchen. They're essentials in the um, chemistry industry. And so here we see uh, Azoff connected as well. Now, uh, uses, well, you name it, the, uh, for sulfuric, hydrochloric acid, ammonia, it's countless uses. And um, so Azoff and Rebus. Now also in other alchemical works, such as uh, Clavis Artis, uh, this key, Corpus Anima Spiritus, which translates to, uh, and again you see it in imagery as well, the symbols of it, salt, sulfur, and mercury. Uh, animals, uh, Spiritus Anima Corpus, um, they're also on Valentine's work, Anima Spiritus Corpus, uh, Heinrich Kunraff, See in red, Anima Spiritus Corpus. Also this famous image, Anima Spiritus Corpus. And it's a multiple reference as well. So again, that, those uh, references and the symbols connected to them. But you also see them so on the, on the belly button, on the navel, but also from the breasts. We have those same symbols, salt, which is salt, sulfur and mercury which was famous for, connected to Basil Valentine, Azoff and Rebus, again, salt, sulfur and mercury symbol, and uh, three principles, salt, sulfur and mercury, spirit, corpus, spiritus and uh, anima, and what are they? So even, um, he was important because this concept of the three principles, sulfur, salt, mercury, sulfur, or that which is combustible, which is changed or destroyed, or which at all events disappears during burning and combustion. Mercury, that which temporarily disappears during burning or, comp or combustion, which is dissociated in the burning from the body, burnt, but which will be recovered, that is to say, that which is volatile and salt, that which is fixed, the residue or ash remains after burning. So uh, he was trying to... So now we have the periodic table where we've we you know have noble gases metals all those different um, groupings of elements and they have very similar properties well this was an early attempt uh, to again to say because a lot of what we now call elements and substances uh, back then were often thought of you know that all of them were elements even though they're actually substances and this was an early attempt a good attempt to separate these so sulfur so when it burns, it, it disappears. It's like a sulfur on a match. Okay, mercury, 
you can boil mercury away but then you can recapture it as where salt that is which is fixed so uh, for instance mercury um, melts at a very low temperature so uh, frozen mercury basically at room temperature mercury of a metal melts at room temperature that's why it's a liquid because it's molten salt the salt you have like kitchen salt is actually frozen salt now to burn to melt salt you have to have a huge huge temperature as well so uh, molten salt reactors uh, for nuclear is a possibility um, as well so again he's breaking things up into different groups this is some very advanced chemistry especially for its time and potassium salt sulfur and mercury and again which would connect now hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid prop actually probably goes back you know at least more than 2,000 years prior to uh, Valentine in the Rosicrucian text again salt sulfur and mercury symbols uh, our chemical symbols all, uh, all over the joint which will connect to as well rebus the red king the white queen and putrefaction which again are these stages in alchemy even the rosy cross still now salt sulfur and mercury salt sulfur and mercury and also the other elements and uh, uh, also referring to well you can pause and read because it's these other connections and he's mentioning the trifle or the trif or trifolium the f well you could think of it a free leaf clover but uh, it's interesting that in places such as Rosalind Chapel and others that they have this um, especially as a medicinal plant which apparently shouldn't exist in Europe because it's pre-Columbian but that's uh, something else so again trifolium and you see the same references both in across different texts and the point but uh, I'll put the links in the video and so the 12 keys especially dragon's blood uh, now some lab he's got a great uh, two videos so part one is basil valentine early chemistry and uh, he's especially looking at the third key Where would be a good point okay these links will be in the descri description very important to watch because they break down uh, the meanings of these you know uh, colorful enigmatic words and but what happens is that there's some very very advanced chemistry there and um, trade secrets hugely important uh, but especially part two of that uh, by some lab basil valentine dragon's blood and he'll you know he'll he does a, a, literally uh an experiment to show how it's again some very advanced chemistry you know hidden in plain sight and uh and also i'll put a link to um jemima dunnett now english so there's a few little you might think typos okay but uh, she's speaking in English not the first language but she goes through again the 12 keys and how these symbols um, and have well now we have the periodic table but she'll go for and show in some really nice connections even to the um, cauldrons that are used and the and those symbol uh, connections and compare them to archaeological finds uh, of these uh, crucibles and how the certain shape of crucibles actually connect to certain types of metals and can be seen in the 12 keys the references so let's go back to the first key especially now the crucible we have a rounded crucible there we have a tapered crucible so those links will be in a description um again the again the tapered crucible compared to the rounded um cr uh, and compared to artifacts that are found as well connected to very important sites of metallurgy uh, mining of that time and so yeah those links will be in the description I'll also drop this one because it's a, a cool one because it's got the chemistry of Isaac Newton and in the search you can search switch from text to symbols as well and for instance there you get an idea of the um, symbols that they were using including 
uh, uh, oil of vitriol. Where's oil of vitriol? But you'll find uh, these are cool weights and measures too. So that's a nice one. And again, this link will be in the description. So uh, the the alchemists of the time different outlooks on their philosophy. But the one thing that joins all alchemists across the ages, across religions, cultures, and time is chemistry and when you wanted a, a chemist you went to an alchemist all all the time whatever they they had different spiritual outlooks they had different ideas so but all the one thing that joins all alchemists is chemistry and so those links will be in the description these videos are, are very cool okay <laughs> yeah so when you think of um when yeah uh, Heisenberg was an alchemist and you yeah, have various tools of alchemy trade which are chemistry trade as well embedded in these symbols of the 12 keys of Basil Valentine so these links will all be in the description to these videos fascinating stuff uh, hope you enjoyed and have a good one